Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Scorpio. Thank you Lord God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, so Scorpio, let's see who and what you're dealing with. Thank you Lord. Okay, so you got a friend here, maybe um, a loyal, trusted companion who could give good advice. If you have a friend that you can lean on, that you can talk to, um, you may fall in love with this friend or you may be in love with this friend. Love of something or someone is here for you. This even can be a new person. Um, maybe they were a friend at first. Pleasure seekers. Okay. Um, someone could be desiring, craving, lusting after um, you, your energy, wanting to be back with you. Um, okay. I want to always get that with y'all. I don't know if y'all engaged in um, polyamorous relationships or engaged in maybe um, third energy just in the bedroom. Uh, okay. Consolation. Um, somebody feels like something is not enough. Somebody's not getting enough of enough of money, enough of time, energy, effort. I don't know. They're just getting enough here to to uh, sustain them. There could be somebody practicing or wanting to practice more religion or chastity or maybe abstinence here. For religious reason or, or to gain clarity. What is this talking about? You go from all these people in the bedroom to I don't want to have sex no more. You have constancy at the bottom of the deck. Somebody feels like, okay, so this card talks about uh, if it's going well, it'll continue to go well. If it's going bad, it's going to go bad. Nothing is cha changing here. Someone feels like nothing is changing, therefore they need to shut down or shut off or cut off something here. Maybe they need to cut off uh, sexual activity, engaging in that. Somebody has some repressed sexual thoughts also. Repressed sexual energy thoughts. Someone's holding back. I don't know if somebody's practicing like like no fap or something. I don't know if somebody's practicing something where they hold back. They, they are intentionally holding back for a specific reason in their life. Let's keep going. Let's see what you, what's really going on. Maybe if there's somebody... Oh, somebody also could be holding back from you, Scorpio, um, or vice versa. You're holding back from them. Maybe you guys used to have a really good time together sexually. Um, it used to be fun and you were friends, maybe even friends with benefits. Um, and now someone is holding back and they are holding their energy back. They're repressing that, their sexual thoughts that they, they want to have for you, but they're definitely not engaging in it or acting on it. Um... Someone gives you just enough attention, just enough affection, or something is not enough here. Um, not enough communication, touch, affection, I don't know. What's going on? Let's see. You could be desiring someone, desiring to be with them, or vice versa. This is how they feel about you. Um... Okay, I'm going to put these back in the deck. If they come back out, then it is what it is. What do you have to tell the Scorpio? Alright, so these cards flipped onto the floor. Um, yep, this is a toxic energy. You should probably run away from me. Okay, somebody knows that they're just not good for you. They know that they can't give you what it is you need. Um, but they still want to be in your energy. They still want to have sex with you. They still want to communicate with you. They still want you to be the friend or the friend with benefits. They still want you to be maybe the other person here. Okay, um, someone wants zero attachments. You know, they don't want 
a strong attachment to this connection, to this love. Um, uh, they have love for you, but they have love for you in the capacity that they want to have it for you. And that could just be friends or benefits, uh, friends, um, but not anything um, serious. Someone is saying, I'm aware of all the shit I've done. Please forgive me. Um, someone could be asking for your forgiveness. Someone could be trying to practice, um, be more pious, maybe even abstinence or chastity and trying to be better or, or, or present themselves better here. Let's see. Someone is saying, I understand that you don't want a relationship. You want the idea of having a relationship. Um. Yes, yeah, someone saying, I just can't let the single life go. I'm sorry. So somebody likes the idea of having the relationship. They can't let the fun with friends, the pleasure-filled times go. They like the connection that they have with you. They may even have a strong attachment or love for you. They want zero attachments, but it, it looks like they do love you. Someone is asking, will you just take me back already? Jeez, it's not as if they're going to change anything about them or the dynamic. They just want you to take them back or allow them back in your space and your energy. Someone is saying, I know you're lying, but I love you, so I forgive you. Someone is conceding to the fact that this is um, this person is a liar. Um, they're being manipulated. Somebody is saying, this is an eight-party relationship. I'm open to everybody. So somebody's got options open all over town. Um... Someone is not able to have sex right now, also due to health-related restrictions. So somebody is, you know, taking advantage of that. Let's see. Dating, yeah, someone is out dating. Um, they're dating with intention to find someone, but they're, they're dating. They have a lot of people. We saw that with the eight party situation here. Someone, um, they have options and they're keeping their options open. Um, they do have a love for some uh, another person, but that is not stopping them from keeping their options open. Let's see. That's called True Gen. Um, there could be the element of surprise. Someone could surprise you with um, a gift, jewelry, money. I don't know. Again, expect the unexpected from the least expected person. Um, yes, yeah, someone feels like you are a, a true gem. Someone could even try to propose something to you. It could even be marriage or give you a friendship ring or... I don't know. It's a lot of passion here. Somebody is really desiring you, desiring to be back with you, desiring to be in your arms, desiring for sexual activity to take place. We saw that with pleasure seekers. It looks like somebody is um, holding back, though. What else do we have here for past life? So this could be someone that you have a significant history with, either in a past life or you just have history in this lifetime with this person. You have a past life with them. Um, maybe you were um, engaged to them. You were married to them. You lived with them. They want that back. They want, yeah, they want that back. They want some element of that to return to them. Past love. Yeah, this is somebody that you have a lot of history with. They are desiring to be with you. They know that you're dating or you're out here or you're getting attention and they want you back. They feel like so much has happened between the two of you and um, they want you to uh, forgive them. They, they're they aware of the shit that they've done. Um, they want you to take them back, okay? Um, you guys could be long distance from each other or there's so much that has happened to where you feel like, how do we go back? How do we restore 
let's get a chakra card here for you to see which chakra you should be focused on moving forward. Some of you just holding back from maybe somebody that you had a significant past with. Um, you don't want to have sex with them or you don't want to have sex too fast or you don't want to. Yeah, shutting down is not the answer. Some of you have shut down your sacred chakra. Some of you are just not having sex. You're not engaging. You're not open. You don't want intimacy on any level with this intimate conversation, intimate touch, a massage, uh, nothing. You don't want it. Um, it's saying that... Um, Shutting down is not the answer. And for somebody else in your life, zero discipline in every aspect of their life. So somebody's heart chakra is uh, off because they have zero discipline in every aspect of their life. Um, they're just not disciplined. Whatever it is they want to do, they do it. There's no, um, there's no holding back. There's no uh, best behavior. It is just behavior. Uh, this person just engages in whatever makes them feel good. And that's why they're coming up as pleasure seekers. I don't know. Some of you overspend, overeat, overdo everything, oversexualized. Um, something of that nature here is coming up. Let's get one tarot card to close out the reading. Somebody feels like if they don't leave this or they don't leave you alone, it'll just stay the same. So they've done something in terms to bring about the change and it could be shutting down, um, closing up shop. One tarot card, all right. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, somebody's focused on self-development Developing their emotional self, trying to maintain emotional stability, not letting anything, anyone come in and destabilize them and unravel them. Also, somebody's cup is closed. That means their emotions are closed. They don't want intimacy. It's not open. It's not open for business. Not ever, but just not right now. Someone feels like they need to go through the healing process. They need to be able to listen to themselves, their intuition. You need to be able to count on themselves. Scorpio, you may be coming up as self-centered right now, but it's all about more so developing you yourself so that you can be better in connection. You could be learning about yourself, learning about different modalities of, of spirituality, religion. You just don't have time or energy to engage with other people or to engage in... Um, intimate contact and intimacy is not just sex but it's deep conversation you just are not there yet for whatever reason all right so scorpio if this resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there just like this one an oracle reading or any other reading you can ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. And if you feel like you're in a place where you need to release, you need to relinquish, um, you want to clear energies, take a part, take part in the full moon uh, release ritual. Um, all of the information is below. Um, a good session, a good session for you to release. Okay. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Take care.